Hi, I'm James Russell. I'm the lead designer for the Total War series. Rome is the most popular um, era for, for, in terms of what the fans, wh where the fans want us to return to. Um, it's the most asked for sort of sequel uh, on, on the forums from our community and we're really, really excited to be, to be announcing Rome too. Um, I mean, I think there's something uniquely evocative about the, about the Roman era, um, which is why it sort of has such, um, such traction in popular imagination. You know, you see it all over, you see there's lots of Rome, Rome content on TV and so on. Um, there's something absolutely magical about the, about the period, I think. Um, you know, from the ideals of the Ro Roman Republic up to the sort of immense power of the, uh, of Rome, of the Roman Empire in the imperial period, um, you know, which created the excesses of, 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 of emperors like, notorious emperors like Caligula and so on. I mean, it was a, it was a time in history where, you know, individuals could really, could really shape, um, shape history. Um, you've got all these legendary figures like Julius Caesar, Cleopatra, and you know, there's something unique, something very unique about the Roman war machine and the look and feel of the legions. Um, and of course, the arena in which they were fighting, you know, the whole ancient world with barbarians in the forests, you know, exotic empires in the east. We want to have uh, on the campaign map um, uh, a huge space, but actually reduce the amount of management detail that you've got to go into. So we're going to have, instead of just all regions being the same, we're going to have um, provinces which are made up of a number of different regions. So what that means is you don't have to manage loads and loads of regions, right? You manage a small number of regions relatively, but we still have that strategic depth where a province is made up of several regions which, which, you, can, which you can conquer. And what that means is that you have the benefit of the scale, but you don't, you don't have the, um, you don't have the, the, management, the management detail. That's on the campaign map. There's something very special about Total War in terms of the scale and the spectrum of scales that we have, right? So if, you're, if you look at a battle, um, we have incredible detail close up where you, see, you can see two, two men fighting it out. And you zoom out and you see thousands upon thousands of them on the battlefield. And we really want to push both ends of that spectrum in Rome 2. So in terms of the detail, um, obviously we're, 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 um, we've got a new graphics engine, we've got new lighting systems, new particle systems. We're really wanting to increase the, the detail and the look and have a really gritty look and feel in terms of the man-to-man -man combat. Um, really impactful animations. We're also bringing the cinematic skeletons fully in game, so we're going to have facial animations, we're going to have unit link cameras so you can really see. It really brings out that, that, that low level human scale drama that we want to have on the battlefield. You know, what's unique about Total War is that, uh, is that you, you make your own history, right? So we put you in this historical era, we uh, immerse you in it, we, 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 we put characters, legendary characters from the era into the game but the player makes their own history with those characters. Um, but absolutely, that, that whole pillar of, of the, this, what we call the human face of Total War that I've, I've mentioned in terms of, you know, in battle, how we, how we go right down into the, how we really want to go right down and push that human level drama. We want to do that on the campaign map as well. Um, we want to um, make, we want to, we, want to, we want to go down to that human scale um, and make more of characters, make more of stories, um, and we've got various themes that we want to incorporate around, you know, betrayal and, and, and whether you, um, you know, are you saving the Republic or are you trying to be Emperor, that kind of thing. There is something unique about, about what PC gaming is, right? Uh, and Total War at its heart is a, an epic, um, deep gameplay experience. And I think PC is the best platform for that. You know, it's that kind of lean in, um, experience. It's not. It's not. It's not on the sofa in the living room um, with shorter play sessions and so on. Um, so we do. We do want to. We do want to make Total War accessible. We do want to um, support the ability to play for shorter amounts of time. Absolutely. But I think, as it's at its core, PC is 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 a perfect platform for 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 what Rome Two is. Absolutely.